before pregnancy what happens why do narcissists want to have families ever wonder why some people are so gung ho about starting a family let's talk about why narcissists start itching to join the parent club dreams of a family hopes for the future but for the narcissist it's all about their agenda in narcissist family is like a broadway show they are the star director and the producer and everyone else it is just there to make them look good hold on to your hats about 70% of the narcissists start families but their reason are as fake as 3 dollar bill for a narcissist a family is like the ultimate accessory it's not about love it's about looking good let's break it down that'll be number 1 image boost a family is like an instagram filter for a narcissist public image suddenly they are dad goals or hashtag mom of the year number 2 control center a family gives a narcissist a captive audience it's like being the ruler of their own little kingdom number 3 the legacy builder for a narcissist having kids is like launching their own brand they see their children as walking talking advertisements for their greatness number 4 will be societal check box starting a family is like ticking box on the normal adult checklist it helps narcissists blend in and look like everyone else remember a family should be a garden of love not a stage for narcissists show and tell In a healthy home, everyone's story matters. But for a narcissist, it's a one-person narrative. True family bonds are built on give and take, not just take, take, take. A family heart should beat as one, not dance to narcissist drum. In a loving home, dreams intertwine like wines, not whether in a narcissist's harsh designs. Examples from the old sessions. A taxi owner has kids just so they could brag about their work-life balance in interviews. A mommy blogger adopted a child and turned them into a content machine for their Instagram. A politician created a big family just to look good on campaign posters. Here's a doozy. The narcissistic spouse was so desperate to get pregnant. They doctor shopped until they found one who would prescribe fertility meds they didn't need. Talk about their manufacturing drama. And get this, another narcissistic spouse wanted to freeze her eggs at 45, not because she wanted more kids with their partner, but as a backup plan. in case she found a better model down the road yes these stories show how narcissists view family as a means to an end not a joy in itself for a narcissist family life is like a reality tv show and they think they are the main character a narcissist family planning is like assembling a trophy case before winning any competitions A family's love should be unconditional and true, not a performance with strings attached like glue. In a healthy family, everyone has a voice. In a narcissist home, there's only one choice. Real families grow together like a forest, strong, not a bonsai tree shaped to prove someone's wrong. A family should be a symphony of different notes. not a solo act where one voice gloats in a loving home roots grow deep and wide not shallow and weak to serve someone's pride for a narcissist family planning means figuring out how many mirrors they can fit in the nursery time for a little self reflection does your partner talk about having kids like they are planning their next big promotion Do they see your future children as supporting actors in their life story? Is there room for your dreams and their family plans or is it a one person show? Do they discuss parenting styles or just parenting photo opportunities? Is their idea of family bonding more about appearances than genuine connection? These questions might help you spot if your partner is showing their narcissistic cards. 
Okay, some practical tips. Number one, have an honest chat about what family means to both of you. Number two, watch how they treat their family members. It's a preview of coming attractions. Number three, don't let social pressure rush you into starting a family. Number four, if something feels off, talking to a couple's counselor isn't admitting defeat. It's being smart. Number five, trust your instincts. If your gut is raising red flags, listen to it. Remember, a real family is about we, not me.